Hey yo, I'm losing my fucking mind. Let's fucking go. It's Minecraft Monday. I, I apologize. I'm in a bit of a fucking weird state. Um, cause I'm doing a lot. I I'm finishing up a degree this week, basically. And I'm also got my job, which is really intense. And I'm running around like an absolute loony bin, um, barely getting any sleep and barely doing anything correctly. So I apologize if I f seem a little maybe dishinged or something like that. Um, that is pure and simply because I am. So, <laughs> Minecraft, yay! Uh, where are we at? So, okay quick explanation that i feel like i do need to actually fucking add um i was an idiot um so i am piggybacking off of the all the mods pack now what i mean by that is that i basically ripped that pack apart tore out the mods i didn't want and then added in the mods that i did want as a hosting point because then that way i can um utilize the fact that it is actually a stabilized mod set and um build off of that now this was not an era uh the one i'm about to mention this was not an era that existed uh when me and my friends were playing but it apparently has been an era since i tweaked up the pack last the ice and fire inside of all the mods actually has a unique config uh where what it will do is um there's a new dimension called the other i believe is what it is uh where it will spawn stuff now why is this relevant because i'm not using its config settings except apparently it defaulted to them so what do i mean by that well as of now if i go say oh yeah by the way i'll show that later properly if we go say to the northwest area the desert um that we found in the other stream which is guaranteed to be far enough away to spawn things. Because keep in mind that we need to actually be... Uh, it's 800 blocks. In distance. I'll just double check there's nothing there. Okay, so we're going to move out. So I have done a little bit of exploring to ensure that this is actually working. Because obviously um it would suck if even after all this time it was so simply spoken on the screen already we have a couple of things that didn't exist before this is one this is some sirens um mermaids whatever you want to call them they are from ice and fire this was not spawning before because it was set not to spawn in the overworld but in the other a dimension that i do not have I just had to reset the config files to their most default state, which again, I do not know how they updated to a unique state that's required in this. So if I actually go close to these, they will start to signal. Get dragged towards them, maybe? Hello? Guess not. Also, is the sound not working? Oh, that's probably why the sound's not working. Yeah, no, it is working. Okay, I'm just an idiot. I forgot to turn on my headphones. This kind of is going to proving my point. But yeah, also, these fellas here, these are, um... Unique to Ice and Fire. So, I was an idiot. I didn't realize this before. And that means we've generated quite a bit of worlds, um that doesn't have ice and fire uh, spawning allowance 
Um, these will spawn in areas that have been previously generated if they're an entity that can just spawn. So eventually we'll see, like, uh, I think they're called death worms or something uh, in the desert. They're supposed to have a very high rate, and I'm actually kind of surprised we're not seeing them. But point is, um, the benefit we have is actually, if we go to the map, ignore the south because I explored that recently. Oh, this is going to lag quite a bit. But most of the stuff we've explored is either extremely north or ex absurdly far away that uh, was that big ass fucking northwest stuff when I was losing my mind last week. As can be seen here. So we actually have all of this area to here and this area that stuff can spawn. Um, but it again, it has a requirement of 800 blocks away from spawn. Um, so we're not going to see anything too close and we shouldn't see anything inside here, for example. I might change that requirement later because at this point in time, I don't think it matters too much. However, while I was searching, I can tell you that for damn sure, um, we are not as strong as I was hoping by now. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, you see a sea serpent jumped out of the water, which is something that is, again, the main reason I keep talking about how I'm scared of the ocean is those things are very prevalent. Um, and it took off half my health through my armor and everything. And it took quite a while to kill. And I had to cheese it in the end. Um... Oh, no, it's EMCable. So, that's something that's going to have to be considered. <coughs> so, I'm going to definitely have to think about how I want to get more difficult to kill. Now, there's two options I have, both of which are not really viable at this point, because I have another thing that's going to be our priority. Now, in between last episode and this, um, in fact, it was yesterday, I decided to do up this area around the tree farm. And this is what we've come up with so far. This is a, a design that I kind of threw together uh, based on some other stuff that I know of. Um, and yeah, so this is the tree farm. I've currently got it set so it's on a redstone system. So if I just flick this, you'll see all the trees disappear. But this is what I've designed so far, and I think this looks really, really pretty. Um, I decided to also have these lanterns hang down a little bit more. Um, and then, obviously, basically everything that was set up before hasn't been changed is still just underneath here. Um, now, what I'm going to be doing... This is... A, oh, Jesus doesn't help that my game is constantly hitting like absurd CPU usage. I don't think there's much I can do about that because I've gotten a bunch of assignment work off to the side and I can't close that because if I do, I lose my progress. Um, so, today I decided my priority was good. Oh, like I've already decided what my priority is. Now, I should also mention um, I progressed a little bit more with these. Um, I've talked about this before, about three, if not a little bit more, is equivalent to the next tier, and the next tier is better than just having these. I should have upgraded a long time ago, um, but I have kind of gotten, like, I'm not going to keep doing that at this stage. I kind of wanted it off camera, especially. I'm kind of going to leave a lot of that progression to further down the line. Now, one of my first little things I do actually want to do, just uh, a side thing, quickly um just to improve our tankiness is actually make some sh uh a red matter shield because i think that should help alleviate um issues so
It is six diamonds and a dark matter. Teach that there, and then the red matter one is that with five uh, dark matter and a red matter. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm losing my mind. Did I accidentally, like, sell off my goddamn, uh, bottle? Time in a bottle at some point? I think I did. That's annoying. I'll just quickly get that back out. It's starting from the beginning again, but hey. Better than nothing. Um, yes, also, by the way, there is a bunch of garbage in here still. I've not cleared it out, partly because of what I'm planning on doing today. Did I teach that to the table? Yeah, I did. So now I should be a little bit more durable when it comes to fighting things. Um, however, I'm going to be honest, it's still probably going to be minuscule what that actually has done. So, what are we doing today? Today, I'm going to set up a, um, the, a storage system. Because I have had enough of having to try and manage these chests. It's just stupid. So, what we're going to do is we're going to work with refined storage, and I'm going to work around this area underneath primarily, and then I'm going to set up a terminal over here, which means that we're going to actually finally do one of the things I've kind of talked about with this entire underground area, which is uh, be sending some wires around. Now, the reason why I'm going to set up the uh, the storage system in here is pure and simply because this is where I've already got a power network set up. And I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to probably keep improving upon this power system here and never actually making a new one because I don't feel like I need to. I'm eventually going to toss augmentations into these and they're just going to burn fast. Like, that's my intent, and then I'm going to put in, like, a better one of these if I need to. So, what do we need for refined storage? Now, I want to point out that we have um, some expansion mods for this. So... If I type it this way, you can see there's a couple more... Um, storage housings and there is actually if I find it one that we're eventually going to aim for or do I not have that still here I'm sure I do am I blind Okay, I'm clearly just blind. Or I don't have that mod in here anymore. Okay, guess I don't have that in here anymore. I had a mod that gave a infinite... Um, 
storage housing. Extra discs. Okay, so I do have it in here. It's just called something different. There you go. Infinite storage disc, which ironically enough isn't even that expensive. That's not a good sign. Point is though, is that if I can make one of these for um, storage and then fluid storage, then I don't need to ever worry about uh, any storage whatsoever inside of the system again. That's actually a very... But ah, uh, yeah, that's right. This is where my limitation comes in is a nether star. Oh, do we try and set up for that then? Do we do we try and do a wither boss? Do I have any? skills because i think i had one at one point but i might have used it from memory yeah okay so let's do that i i'm not against it i've got plenty of areas where i can go do it as well and at this stage i just need to do it once and then i get the key rewards from it i can set up the automation of killing one at a later stage because there's plenty of underground area to do it in And I should be relatively hard to kill. Relatively. Hmm. That is a good worry. I mean, I do have totems of undying, so I've got a good safety net. That's nausea that that dissipates. That's weakness. Uh, Mighty fatigue. I don't think I can get the... Uh, one that gives me stopping of withering. Do I? Poison withering. Immunity to poison. Yeah, it's the dragon scale. So I can't do that yet. Okay. So we've got a much more uh, interesting plan than I was actually expecting for today. We're going to go kill a wither boss. So first of all, that means I need to get Wither Skulls, because Wither Skulls are not EMCable. See? Wither Skeleton Skull. Oh, apparently you can get them from the Wither itself. Um, severing helps with it. Okay. I'm I'm gonna just try and kill them a little bit to begin with because I should be able to kill in mass quite easily especially in the nether the nether I should basically be able to walk through at this point there shouldn't be much there that can affect me Um, there was the nether fortress up the north area that had quite nice skeleton spawns from memory. Okay, it's, yeah, there it is. So, ah. 
God, this buff is insane. It just means that I kill everything. And I don't take damage all that easily. Oh, apparently I killed something that has had an epic on it. I don't know who that was, but thanks, I guess. Apparently, where the skeletons can drop, uh, Potheosis loot. So it's looking like I still probably should go for getting a uh, beheading weapon. Because the probability still is pretty dog from the looks of it. Okay. I mean, it's not like that is difficult. It's just I'm going to have to go out of my way for it. Um... Yeah, okay, so we'll do that then. Oh, just a couple more of these fellas. You're not mad with me, right? Cool. And do you mind... Okay, so we'll make a beheading weapon then, um, which is relatively easy. We just need to make a uh, cleaver and the beheading enchantment. I'm trying to remember that because I want looting and beheading. Looting's a little bit more annoying because that requires EXP potions. Oh, you know what I probably should do is, first of all, I'm just going to toss. I just did it again. Um, okay, so... I want this book, which is Nether Grout, Soul Sand, Magnum Cream, and Gravel. No, I don't have Soul Sand in here. Yeah. Hmm. 
Then book. Cool, and then we need the other books. Whoops. Where are they? What? Did I get rid of them? I probably did, didn't I? Of course I did. Alright. <laughs> this one and what's the last one I need? My tea smelting. Oh, you know where they probably fucking are. Get on me. Okay. So it's severing that one. Yes. Necrotic bones, TNT, and copper. Not too bad. And then a cleaver. So we need a broad blade, a tough handle, two tough handles, and a large plate. Need a large plate and a broad blade. And then we need two gold. I'm just going to preemptively grab a bunch of this. Flip this switch. Because we're going to make the casts first. So, let's see, this is three, correct? Three, eight, four. Okay, that's, that's right, that got changed. So I need six, ten... 18. Hello? Bit of a delay there. Too tough roll. Then they lose a move eight. Turns out math is a strong suit of mine. Cool, okay, and da, 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 cleaver. Then we need the necrotic bones. That's with a bone. We need necrotic bones. Which is the Tinker variant. Okay. 
Okay, and then what else did we need for the severing upgrade? There's copper and TNT. Yeah, you need to do it like that. All right. Severing cannot be level five or above. So. Upgrades. What's experienced? Leggings are fixed all tools. Oh, that's cute. Grants, not bag, don't want that. It's healing, don't care. Mob to me to fight, don't care. It's just quartz. Okay, so I don't think I can upgrade the looting more. But this I can. So copper and then blue orchid or a so we have blue orchid we can get the lapis and then it was copper Why did I just only grab the one when I know I needed more? God damn it. Luck cannot be above level one. I th thought it literally said that it can go up to three. Apply an order. What's the... Oh, okay, there we go. Aya, That's a bit of an upgrade. Um, Ender Pearl, Gold Ingot. Okay. Two Ender Pearls. I do believe I found some gold carrots at one point. Did I not? Yes. Okay, and then what's the next level? A rabbit's foot. I don't know if I've gotten that. Rose gold, easy, name tag, and diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, I haven't got a rabbit's foot. Do I just get that from killing rabbits? Let's find out. Because I know there's a bunch here. And there we go. Okay, so it was two rose gold and name tag. And a diamond. So that is the highest luck modifier I can get. All right. And that's for pants. Okay. And then, I mean, I could just quickly toss on at least uh, two levels, two additional levels of reinforced. Just do that and then grab out. So I need head and then a book and quill, I believe is what I need. It's eight damage, but it's like, especially in comparison to that. And yes, you could make the argument, oh, well, why don't you just put in some uh, damage modifiers then? And to that I say, how am I going to fit that in with all the bloody other utility I'm adding in? Let's try this and see how much this improves it because this should drastically increase the chances of getting ahead. Hello. Good sirs. You have arrived with special toy. Nice. So it doesn't guarantee a head, but it damn well increases the chance, and that's tragic. It's because of my uh, shift effect. I push enemies away. By the way, mind if I grab one of your heads?
Thank you. It's not EMCable, but it's actually quite useful when it comes to Tinker Slater. That is pain. Okay, what well, that's taught me is I should probably equip uh, a magnetic ring. Give me a better chance of keeping things. I've only gotten one bloody skull from all of this. For the goddamn... With the skeletons. Hey, second one. Yo, fucking mind. That's my three heads that I need anyway. I am not even 100% sure, by the way, that a, the Wither boss is actually all that easy to kill for me. All I know is that I'm not doing it anywhere near my base. Oh, game's lagging again. Game's been doing that a lot recently. I think I've been doing too many nasty things to it.
So with that, I think what we're going to do is we're going to find one of the uh, places I've explored with Waypoint. Say here. I don't really want to pick one that has a, a village. One's got a village a little close to it, but it's not on a village. God damn, my game is starting to fucking die a little bit. I again, I apologize if there's some lag on the uh, stream. Okay. Worst comes to worst, I shouldn't die. Because I should have Totem of Undying to protect me, as well as uh, Phylactery Charm. Here goes nothing. Well, that was actually depressingly easy. I think we've got all of the uh, drops. I don't think I saw anything else. Well, that went rather well, I'd say. Again, a little overpowered, but hey, what did you expect? I have been gearing up for literally the end of the game for the last... How is it? Long now. Nine episodes. It's not too surprising. Okay, so we've got... Nether Star now. Which we wanted for the refined storage. So, okay. Well, that's actually pretty good then. That we've uh, managed to achieve that. I don't say so myself. Um, I'm just going to turn off the tree farm again because I'm going to be perfectly honest. Technically speaking, this tree farm does nothing. It adds, I think, like a very mild amount of e additional EMC into the marker, but like it's competing versus like s almost 30 million per second. It's probably putting in like at best maybe 100 every minute. Because keep in mind, not only is it actually having to... um 
like it's all of that getting transferred in here, but it also has to take into consideration the MC required to power it and all the devices relative to it. It's not actually that much of a net gain. Anyway. So. Um, first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and make every raw processor. So, slime ball and string. And it gets me eight of these. I should only need... Oh, good lord, why is that so excessive? I should only need five. Now I need silicon, which is nether quartz smelted. And we need... Technically four of it. So that one needs a redstone. That, 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 that. So they, those need four redstone. Two, three, four. Then we need an iron ingot. A gold ingot. A diamond. And a nether star. Okay, so those have all been taught. And now these can all be taught. And then this one, which I don't think I'm going to actually be using, but hey, uh, three quarts crafting table. Two obsidian and then a golden diamond. Okay, there we go. So now that we've got that done, now we need the next big piece of thing. So machine casing is stone of quartz, quartz rich iron. Is a really annoying thing to make. And I've had to make so much of it in my time. OK, 
Okay, we needed that. I needed stone. Make the machine casing. Teach that. And then I needed silicon. And boom. We've uh, made a controller. So, what's next? Um, oh, sorry, my belt is killing me. It's it's the buckle was just really digging into uh, an area that I would prefer it not to. It was causing quite a bit of irritation, and it's just kind of hit its cap. I'm going to do these because I'm going to need these anyway. So glass and redstone. Then... Oh yeah. Okay, so now that we've got uh, the stuff for cables done as well, this drive is a chest, an advanced processor. Quartz and roach and a casing. And then a basic grid. Oh, yeah. So we're going to need a construction, which is glowstone basic processor. I need two of those. Uh, so glowstone. And then is the other one redstone or is it quartz? Yeah, it's quartz. Okay, make those quickly. All right, so what was the rest of the grid? Uh, two improved glass. Casing. And I already have an improved, so I can just grab one. Okay, so first of all, cable, click button, yes, done. Uh, disk drive, click button, yes, done. And then grid, click button, yes, done. Teach it all of these. And then... I'm going to already, so I'll want a crafting grid, which is advanced processor and a crafting table. I'll want a fluid grid as well, yeah. I love how the best part is, logically speaking, this doesn't make sense. I'm slamming a bucket into a computer and now it's going to tell me what liquids are in my thing. However, by like the process of going through it, it actually makes sense because you're like, oh yeah, no, no, it's because fluid bucket makes sense. 
that's how most of the mods work it is a very weird philosophy i will never get past it okay um i don't need a pattern grid at this stage i'll get to that at a later stage i uh, don't need any of those i don't need a disc manipulator because i'm gonna go straight for the top so we want crafting grid and we want fluid grid and then <sighs> i don't think i care about that at this stage It just seems strictly worse. Okay. So now that we've done the basic stuff, this is where it gets really insane. So we need its extra discs. That's the one we're following. So we're just going to be doing storage parts and this is where it starts getting absurd. So we need this one, which requires 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 these. I hope that this is going to be understandable why this is going to take a lot of crafting time and it's going to be very boring, but have fun. So we're going to get rid of all non-essentials. I have silicone, I have quartz and rich, so that makes things easier. I need glass and redstone. Now you could go, it's like, oh, but it's going to be easy because you can transmute the parts together. So like, yes, you are correct. I will be transmuting the parts together because fuck doing these crafts over and over again. However, I still need to craft it once, then grab out another two, then do the next craft. And that's a lot more than you might think. So basic. three four and it's redstone and okay i'm gonna grab a couple of stacks of that and just double check so it's gonna be that and quartz enriched And then for those ones, it's improved processes. Uh, yeah. Then this one is advanced processes. And then this one goes to our first piece that's here. So that's advanced. 
That's advanced. That's advanced. That's advanced. That's advanced. So I need five times four. Uh, quick math, 20. So already this is starting to actually get to, like, well, it might not seem it in relative terms. This is actually quite a bit of EMC I'm doing at this point. Because look at some of the things that are comparable around here. This is two red matters. Which, if you're looking at a more baseline, realistic uh, way of going through this, that's a lot. This is equivalent to... What, almost two magenta matters, which is already starting to get into that level of absurdity. Now I need the weather processor. Now how many of those do I need? Because I need one, two, three. Three sets of it. <laughs> Good God, this is... Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is expensive as hell at this point. However, again, in saying that, we're barely seeing a movement in our saved buffer. And that... This is that one, which now we turn into a disc, which requires... <sighs> Alright, I need... Two glass. Is it one advanced processor? And two improved processors. And then stuff that I already have in my inventory. And boom, we now have the infinite storage for items, which is, again, I cannot stress enough, a lot. There is, oh, sorry, there is no cap. The game will break before I hit a cap. Partly because I'm going to be hitting the cap and it'll break from it. Now I can also do that with fluid. However, I'm not going to do it for now because I have no reason to, but I will probably in the future. So. Spicy times. We are going to, so the thing is, right, is I could go real high efficiency with this, but I'm not going to, I'm going to do it for visual sakes. So we're going to put the controller here. We're going to put the disk drive here. And then we're going to put... Hmm. Just trying to think about it. Double check. Yeah, no, it's good. So first of all, this will give us power. Boom. 
Now, by the way, it's just going to put zero and like have percentage. It's still infinite. So, personally, I have, um, I have some settings that I set up as you just kind of saw there. Um, these settings I would not say everyone has to do, but it helps your brain sometimes. Um, yes, so it's got J synchronization, so now it synchronizes with here. So if I search it in here, it will come up here, vice versa now, because I've got it on the two-way mechanic. I set this to medium because I think it's enough items to see. Otherwise, it gets a bit excessive. Think fucking seven per tick, Jesus. Okay, now let's get rid of all this crap in my inventory and get some cables. So, now for the fun part. By the way, you have to do this for every single one, which is possibly one of the worst parts of this. I'm going to put away this in favor of this. And yes, this is how I'm going to transfer everything into. Yeah. See, nothing fell out the back because I've got gravity on me. And now we don't have inventory problems with my chests. Boom. Oh, it's so much nicer having that. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what do you think? As of now, we have a storage system. Oh, 
that's so much better. Now, again, I cannot stress enough. I'm the purpose of me having a storage system is so I don't have to sort stuff. Now, I need to remember with these. There is a specific block. For transmutation interface, here we are. So this is great. Yeah. Okay, that's out of our reach <laughs> by a little, but the purpose of uh, eventually getting this is so we can just do everything from our refined storage system as we see fit it will cra it will grab stuff craft yada 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 so if there's uh recipes like some of the things that we've seen that end up not having an emc value but have uh processes to get to it that have emcable options then i'm going to be automating it via that um I also have a couple of other abusable features that I will be uh, utilizing in the near future. Um, so with the skeletons and blazers are two things that I have to farm the mobs for. Now, there's a few options I have for that, but there's one option I've never tested. And ever since I added the mod, I've always wanted to play with it, but I've never actually given myself the time. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm going to do it yet. That's probably in the far future. Um, but the fact that we have now got, uh, also let's go have a quick squiz at the disc down here and you'll see has a shitload of items, but no percentage because there is no percentage. It is not got a percentage to fill. It is just fill it, fill it as much as possible. So I'm going to be able to now start doing quite a bit with this. Um, which means like automation for uh, a lot of things can be done. Now, my biggest limitation is ironically enough, I, I kind of mentioned this power because for a long time, power is going to basically be um, fine because I can make pretty excessive things. But I'm going to have to make a massive setup in the coming future to generate a lot of energy for specifically one of the next mods that I'm looking at doing very, very soon. Especially knowing that now I've got a weather star behind me, I can. And that's because... My next big goal is to go to the end. And if things in the overworld are beating the living shit out of me, how do I plan on do dealing with her? Um, the end. Like the end of dragon's probably not going to be anywhere near as difficult as I'm making it out to be. However, it still is going to be a difficult fight. So I do need to prep. Now, there's one resource as well that I desperately want to get. And there's, again, something you need to get uh, via the thing. And uh, it does have an EMC value. Nice. Because it's used for some late game and draconic. Oh, and it's also apparent. Oh, that's right. Yes, it's also used for the unbreakable here. Though, again, those tools are getting very quickly ellipsed uh, by a lot of the tools that I have available to me. In fact, let's just kind of prove that point by... Just upgraded my pickaxe again.
This thing mines insanely quickly, and it's not even the final thing. Like, uh, if I go here, there is the Morning Star and the Qatar. Which the Qatar is the shears, axe, and sword, and hoe combined into one tool. And the Morning Star is the other th uh, three tools combined into one tool. So it becomes quite absurd. I can clear an entire mountain with that quite easily. I like amusingly enough, um, the catalytic lens gets quite quickly like sh outshined by the red morning star. The problem with the red morning star, and this is uh, my personal statement on it, is that it's too powerful. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people might have had this in the past with their own stuff. Uh, with like Tinker's tools is actually a good example, where you have too much mind speed or too much. Uh, stuff to it that it just does stuff too well and too quickly and it causes actual problems um but i think at this point in time like i might do some upgrading of these things here like getting uh, the ring of arcana getting the um void band i think it's basically it then I mean, I could always get the... Is it Archangel's ring? Yeah. Archangel's smite, sorry. Which is just kind of shit in my eyes. Like, it has a very cool meme thing to it, but it doesn't really do that much outside of it. It does drain your EMZ pretty quickly. And that's saying a lot. Um... But like at this point in time, I've got a lot of the like end game materials that are going to keep me going for quite a bit. I wonder, does this just work inside your inventory? Because if that's the case, I have that as well, which is a lot of healing. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, I think my next project overarching is going to be... Draconic. Because that... Also, yes, I will uh, apologize. I keep forgetting to do this but i also still don't have an idea for how i want to do the forge for it and if i want to move this because again like i don't know how useful this is going to be coming up i mean technically speaking i could just switch over to the red matter furnace because that doubles ores inherently and smelts instantly like, I have a lot of options. I'm going to try and make an auto setup anyway for ores. Uh, because I will plan on making... Okay, so I, I want to mention this, and I, I feel like this might be a weird thing to have to mention, but I do not want to be completely reliant on EMC. I want to be reliant on EMC for the early stages of the game, which we're kind of reaching the ends of. Um, because as we're kind of seeing, well, I'm especially seeing, uh, red matter, uh, well, the gem armor and the tools and stuff like that cap, they, they've got a, they've got a capping point where they're the strongest they can be. Um, and they're not the strongest weapons and such that are in the game. This armor is probably some of the best armor I can get. Because it's reducing damage with EMC and it's, uh, like, solid armor. Don't get me wrong, I could probably find, like, something that's straight up, uh, like, significantly more. I'm pretty sure the, is it Dragon Steel? Yeah, 75 armor, 6 uh, toughness. Like, that's significantly more um, durability.
Interesting. Um, I've got another half hour, so you know what we're going to do, just kind of prove how weak we are, but I also still want to just try and have a bit of fun. Is let's go look in the north, uh, the southeast, so the opposite of what my fucking friend likes me looking at, and we're going to look for some dragons. Now keep in mind we need to go 800 blocks away from spawn before we actually see this benefit. Uh, yeah, that's the one I raided before and I don't think there's all that much left in it. Ooh. That's right. The fun part about exploring new areas is that the game hates you. So what we need to watch out for is a nest. Because I'm not going to go try and underground and find one of those assholes under there because those will just kill me and destroy the entire world in the process. But yeah, again, here's an another bit of evidence is these fellas are an ice and fire unit uh, character. And they were not spawning before either. But as you can see then, they spawn. Uh, dungeons also are going to start becoming less and less worth me exploring because there's only a few more items I believe exist that cannot be attained uh, through other means. Um, I can't remember what they are off the top of my head, but I'll uh, again I'll sort that out as I as time comes or time permits. being very careful around large open waters because again those sea serpents can probably kill me all right that's just one of those water units damn this is a big one the big ass well stretches for quite some time but it's not what we're looking for so we're definitely at a range where we should start being able to see this sort of stuff occurring or that this stuff can occur keep in mind dragons are pr relatively rare And they also spawn in specific biomes. I'm pretty sure these aren't those biomes. Oh, that's a house. That's a fucking fort or something or another. Oh, that's a cute house. Seems there's enemies inside of them. Game's taking its time to load. This does look very pretty like this. Good lord. Oh, one thing I do remember that I feel like I should mention. Um, so I was talking before about the interdiction torches and how they kind of interact with uh, projectiles and stuff like that. Um, that also does affect the spells from this. Um, I thought I should mention that because I, while I was doing the... Um, 
new area up uh i was struggling a little bit because of that This guy just did not want to live with that rest of the village, Jesus. But yeah, so it, it'll just fling it away and make it so it doesn't land in the correct location. You can kind of counteract it, though, by making it, like, in the situation with the spell book, you can just stand on the exact place you want it to be. And, um... Be as close to the block as possible before you cast. Because it won't give it enough time to uh, get affected and redirect it. These are mountains. I'm pretty sure there's a type of dragon that spawns in the mountains. The oh, fuck? I have no idea what the fuck that was. It made a particle effect at me. That was self-defense. You all saw that. See, the problem is I'm not rendering a lot of map ahead of me, so it's actually quite annoying because I can't tell for certain... Uh, because you can normally tell pretty clearly when a dragon nest is spawned via the minimap. Because it's just like this big circular area and lots of kind of like clearing around it. God, at least this is a lot more nicer than one of the servers we had. We had one that just genuinely there was nests very, very commonly. Uh, in fact, there was one village we actually found where a nest was dead in the center. Don't know why they found it there, but you know, if I can teach their own. Chests are also a good little indicator. That's why if you're wondering why I look at chests... Because they render in earlier, and there should be chests and dragon nests. That rhyme. I think that almost rhymed. Oh, it's not a dragon nest, but I should actually double check these, because these do have some good stuff in them sometimes. Kind of like that. Ah. 
starting to wonder if I need to like up the rates for spawn stuff. Or if I'm just getting unlucky. But I also don't want to just like synthetically make it so there's just dragons fucking everywhere. Because that would also screw me over. Is it not liking biomes of plenty, maybe? No, I'm pretty sure it's got some stuff around that. God. Yeah, no, it does. And fuck these little shits. Uh, so, quick explanation of why I'm being angry about those little particle effects. They're pixies. They steal items from you. Um, you can't tell sometimes, and they will just, like, nick your armor. And needless to say, that shit can get really annoying really quickly. I'm surprised I haven't even seen, like, dragon skeletons as well. Maybe I've not fixed the problem. <laughs> I've only fixed part of it. There's a lot of fucking hippogriffs spawning around here. Still not seeing as many of the hostile mobs as I would have expected. So if you ever wanted to know what a sea serpent looks like. Want to see me die to one? Jesus, this fight's very buggy as well. Fuck you, bitch. can get those to spawn, but I can't get the dragons to spawn. Interesting. Again, I'm trying to figure out if that's just me being unlucky as hell, or if there's still more work to be done. Because, like, if those are spawning, then by all intents and purposes, I see no reason why the dragons aren't spawning. Also, I love that I'm finding a shitload of desert stuff now. Thanks, game. Fuck, I 
Mark, where were you before? The fun part is, at this rate, by the time I see the dragon, it's already aggroed on me. Because of just how slow everything's rendering. Fuck you. You know what the rule is, everyone? That's oh, heist. Speed, sorry. Pog. Well, that ain't too bad. Dude, where's the dragons? Wagon, baby wagon. God, the rain's getting pretty intense here in the real world, not just in game. God, I want to get a better computer right now. <laughs> Means I could just do this really intensely, really quickly. I still kind of like this biome, but it's a real pain to, like, build inside of. I say from experience. So you just have to keep clearing areas out of fucking the flowers and then you just feel terrible. Is there any chance that there's been one in the areas around me that I just didn't see? I think this is starting to get too close. So I don't think 
think I found anything this way either. Do a quick little bit more exploring for another, say, five minutes, and then we'll call it there. Because I'm now starting to worry. Because if it's still not spawning, then my... I'm going to have to start digging around in files. Oh, Pog, it's a bunch of these assholes. I mean, I could clear out this entire fucking area quite easily. Man, I can't wait to get the better sword. Not the, uh, Economic Exchange one. There's a different mod that I'm going to be going after for my weapons eventually, because I can get up to hundreds of damage on just the weapons. On like a sword. And start one shotting everything. Ooh, fucking assholes. I see you, bitch. Like if I see a Medusa structure as well, then I'd be pretty happy because then that guarantees the stuff's working. I've just been unlucky. But I'm not seeing that either. Uh, if you're wondering, there is a structure that's basically like Medusa. It's, it's, it's a very Greek sort of thing, and it's just got a Medusa in it that you can kill, and you have to use uh, a very specific thing before you go in. Otherwise, you will die. And when I say die, I mean even I will die, like instantaneously. It just kills you, um, regardless of like my res effects I believe but you have to use a blindfold I believe is what it's called It's a very easy thing to craft, but yeah, like, without it, you're just gonna die. And the, um, benefit you have is, because so what it does is it gives you blindness, however, little cheat thing, um, these sunglasses give you immunity to blindness, so you put them on and you literally take no de uh, detriment other than they take up a slot that would normally be for armor. But, Again, keep in mind, you never have to deal with it on the surface. You should always be able to not worry about it because it's under a specific area that requires things to open it up. So you won't get fucked up by it randomly. Not like you would with these fucking assholes. Fuck you. I see you coming at me, bitch. Fuck you. I have a lot of poor stories with those dudes. As we talked about in the previous one, you got so many times that those fucking things just killed me over and over and over and over again. Just because they one-shot you at afar if you're in the water and don't have, like, armor on or anything. Damn. Am I just extremely unlucky or... Mm. 
I mean, arguably speaking, if I could find um, one of those ice biomes in the ocean, I have a chance to kind of cheese being able to find at least out if the dragons are spawning or not. Because the really powerful elder ones, um, they are underground. However, in the ocean, their undergroundness is a little bit less underground in a big bubble in the middle of the ocean. Oh, cool. My thing that I go need to go pick up is ready. Hang on just a sec. I want to see if... I don't know it's still at the university and they could pick it up for me. Instead of me having to go back out again. Dude, it's two buses. It's a really irritating process. Ayo, hey, does this area of the map not look like someone just doing that for you? Or whatever that is that fucking like does that as I look at my hands oh damn Ooh. Okay, no, they're not there still. Oh, well. Okay, well, I'm not finding anything, and I'm going scouring mode with this at this stage. I'm going to just quickly double check the map. No. Okay, so what we'll do here, is we'll go home, Then, uh, I'll toss this shit in here. And, uh, we'll call it here. Um, oh. Because I need to go double check if these things are spawning or not, and I'll do that in a separate world. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm very, very tired. Um, 
And I need to go pick up my things so I can actually uh, prepare for a meeting tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure it will affect my stream tomorrow. Um, if I'll be late or not, because I should be done well and truly before. So, worst comes to worst, I might be uh, like a couple of minutes late. And I apologize profusely for that. Um, it's probably going to be Vampire Survivors tomorrow. Because apparently there was an update for that uh, last week or something like that where he introduced a bunch of new content and I'm uh, I'm very interested in having a look at that. I mean, I'm always interested to see what uh, content the um, developer adds because I, th I think he's introduced some new stuff. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to look up a little bit of it beforehand so I at least know what I'm kind of doing. Um, but yeah, so that will be tomorrow. Uh, aside from that, I uh, also should warn, I'm not a hundred percent, but Wednesday also might be a late, I might be a little late. Fuck no. Um, though I'm not a, I'm not so sure on that one because that's dependent on if I, um, decide to go to a optional workshop thing that, uh, someone I know is hosting. Um, and I wanted to just be there to support them, so I might be there, and that will go right up to one o'clock, I believe. Um, so I'll likely be an hour late that day. Uh, aside from that, that's everything. Um, if you enjoyed, uh, this content and want to see more of it, please, uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you liked the specific episode of, uh, this Minecraft stuff, uh, don't forget to like and even comment because, again, that is very, very helpful for expanding the channel and it would be extremely appreciated. I try and respond to comments um, that I see. The only ones I don't tend to respond to are simple exclamations or um, uh, scams because uh, I've gotten a couple of those already, which for a channel of this size is kind of... I've feel bad for bigger channels honestly uh but yeah i think that's everything um i'm not sure i'm gonna what i'm gonna play on wednesday i'm gonna say that right now i might be final fantasy because i want to catch up on that but yeah no i'll uh, catch y'all on the flip side goodbye and see you next time yeet <laughs>